Oh, God. Catch a lane, this tease us. She's put us <laughs> right in front of us, her apple tart with custard. It's warm, it smells oh, beautiful. Catherine. And she wants us to wait until she's cooked it oh, before we can eat it. Well, listen, do you know what? It's amazing. <laughs> so, this is your favourite, the favourite thing it. to bake. I bet. love it, yeah. Why? And if I was left now, I'd have that finished by this afternoon. And why apple tart? I don't know. I think it's a no. It's, oh, oh, it's like part of my nurturing and my granny always made apple tarts and I love them, yeah. love them. Yeah. But like in, in kitchens all across the country, oh, yeah. everybody just made an apple, apple tart. tart yeah. And yeah. I just yeah. think of going home. It, it's something about yeah. synonymous when you yeah. go home. My mum, she wouldn't maybe make it, but she's yeah. going <laughs> by now. <laughs> she'd have one and she'd heat it up. She'd <laughs> pretend <laughs> it'd be out of the pack and it'd be sitting yeah. there in the plate going, I made that earlier. Smelling the kitchen, smelling the <laughs> yeah. kitchen up. So going, anyway, here we a are, simple short crust pastry. 225 grams, that's eight ounces of our cream plain flour. And to that, I'm going to add my 125 grams, that's four ounces of butter or margarine. Now, ideally, this should be as cold as possible. Because as we've said oh, before... Oh, it's cold, not room temperature. No, cold for pastry, always. OK. Now, this is a bit on the soft side, but if you have time and you think of it, put your butter or marge into the freezer for a short while oh, before you wow. start making it and then grate it into the flour. And you have oh, your pastry done in that would next be, to no time. Just, yeah. And it just gives the pastry an extra Grate wash. the butter, that's a really good Grate tip. Grate it, of course, right. on your grater. Now, a lot of people put their full hand into the mixing bowl and play havoc with the mixture. You just use the tips of your fingers, lift the mixture to allow the air in, because the air is the raising agent, mm -hmm. and just coarsely rub the butter or marge through. You have pieces of butter or marge about the size of a walnut through the flour. You don't spend half the day you know, with your hands stuck in the bowl, you're going to raise the temperature. Now, having done that, we just bind those ingredients with some cold water. Now, I say approximately a quarter pint, which is 150 mils, but if you're, depending how accurate you are, you may use a little less or a little more. But gradually add the water first. Mm. Don't toss it all in because. How many as apple I said, tarts have you made in your career? Oh Catherine? my God, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you. And I couldn't tell you how many more onto that I've, I've actually tasted. Because the apple tart section in the shows around the country is very popular. You have hundreds of apple tarts to judge. Oh, God. Oh, you'd to have to judge. Go and you go around yeah. and taste them and all. And tell me, they what, what makes a perfect apple tart then? Well, the first thing you do, well, you don't have to taste them all because the first thing you do is you um, take out a slice, turn it upside down. If it's raw or undercooked or at the soggy bottom, mm -hmm. eliminate it straight oh, away. Oh, oh right, eliminate it. Yeah. Eliminate right. it, yeah. Eliminate so then what's gone? the next step? The next step then would be um, the texture of the pastry and then the sweetness of the apples. Some people have them too sweet and some people don't have enough sugar in. OK, it's like that worm was saying, those just slicing the apple and then putting the sugar yeah. on it. Yeah. And now, it's just to get that right, that oh, mixture fabulous. right. There's the pastry I, now. I have to go in, Catherine, oh. I'm sorry. The I've, smell, I've about, the smell well of the custard. Are you got oh, yeah. well into your apple, it's gone. <laughs> now wrap that and put it into the um, oh. fridge or the freezer, right? The freezer again, right? Again, yeah. Wow. Because that helps. And could you some. tell, could you tell when you're judging it that well, someone well, hadn't put it into the freezer? Yeah. Right. The fridge and the freezer. Now we have one in here already. There it is. That's nice and cold. So how long does that go in for? About 10 minutes. Oh, OK. Really just while you're peeling and chopping your apples. So now I have these soaking in some water there so that they don't get... God, they're big They're thick. very rough chopped. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Slices. Would you not, rough chopped would you not grate them, no? Or no, kind no, of no. Slices. no. See, this is where you get the yeah. good old the traditional... The good old bite. Brilliant. I'm sticking to this now. And then what's then when sometimes you might get a stewed apple? That's different now altogether. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I know that, but... Like, why would you do that? Why would you stew the apples sometimes? Well, some, some people, people prefer stewed it. apples. Mm. Sorry about this now, my, my hands are sticking with the... And why do you have those in water? To stop them going brown, Tommy. Oh, OK. Because I peeled them beforehand. OK, so it's so not you've got like... to be quick. Peel them and then just chop them into the... And we're full of questions pastry. for her this morning. Yeah, sorry, yeah. stop asking questions. <laughs> we'll important. eat, Catherine, and you just tell us what to now, do. Right. When I've chopped half the apple in, I just shake on a little sugar. Now, that's not a little sugar. Is there, is there an, an amount of sugar that you should put on? No, it really depends. Oh. It actually depends on the apple, Alan. So I do suggest give a little taste to the apple. There's a leaf left on that still. But this time of the year, the cooking apples are particularly good. Right. So now... We've only a minute left. That's very serious. <laughs> there you go. 
God, they're, they're huge, big chunks of apple. Well, I'd spend longer at them in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, but they are, like, I thought they'd questions. have to be, like you, I thought they'd have to be very thin. I suppose or... they soften down once you well, start. Well, they do yeah, soften in the oven, yeah. Now a little bit of sugar. You brush that now with a bit of water around the edges. And we'll put the top layer on, which I already have rolled out here. Mm. And would that, that piece be in the fridge as well? Preferably, yes. Yes, OK. If you can. Okay. How long would that go into the oven for that? then, Kat? About 30 to 45 minutes. Now, right. I'm just going to half seal this one because we haven't time in our sides, but I just want to show you how to get the scalloped edge on the apple tart. Hand there and just work your way around like so. All right. OK. So you're building up a crust as well. And then to scallop it, you just put your thumb mark right around and there we go. And would you put little, um, would you put the knife into the top of it? That's exactly what I'm going to do now. All right, OK. Now, that's just let the air escape. Yeah. And that goes into an oven of 400 Fahrenheit, 200 centigrade, gas mark six, for about 30 to 45 minutes. And how do you not get the soggy bottom? Is there a, a way to avoid that? By having your oven good and hot. Oh, okay. look at now that, look at that. Now look coming out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ice look at cold. the apple. We can see, look, the sizzling at the bottom there. Huh? We can see the apple sizzling. See it? No. Mm. So that looks delicious. Ready for tasting. But you've got and your then, Well, so your custard, cream. Custard, pouring cream. Just whatever you want yourself. Yeah, or ice cream as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's even... Would you look? <laughs> you want more, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't leave a drop, Catherine. Well, that was delicious. Have no, more. <laughs> seriously, everybody loves it. Loves apple And tart. this is a traditional oh, way of so making good. an apple pie. An apple tart. Custard as well. With Catherine oh, Layden. Custard. Looks Perfect. delicious. Thank you so My much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.